Hello friends. I am so excited to be back with you again um, for our fall uh, kickoff of Celebrate Wonder. We are so excited to be coming to you again weekly um, via Facebook and, um, and YouTube and um, you can check out both of these um, anytime you'd like and we will have weekly posts on there um, with our Sunday School lessons and lots of other activities too. Um, today we're going to be talking about a word that's a pretty big word. Um, it's the word reconciliation and if you look at this poster um, you'll get an idea of what reconciliation means. I interpret this picture as two brothers and um, because I know what reconciliation means and I have children of my own, I have a feeling that maybe they had an argument before, and um, but now they've come back together again. And that's what reconciliation means. It means to bring peace between persons who have disagreed. And um, so all this month, um, the next four weeks, we're going to be talking about um, stories in the Bible that tell us about reconciliation. And they're all about Joseph and his brothers. And we're going to meet Joseph and his brothers today. But um, before we get to the reconciliation of Joseph and his brothers, his brothers are, are they're pretty separated and they even get separated by miles and miles. And, um, and that's that conflict part. So before you have reconciliation, there's usually a conflict. And um, if you have siblings or friends or cousins, um, you've probably experienced conflict. It's when we disagree. Um, I have two magnets here to sort of show you. And if I try and push these magnets together, watch what, look, do you see? It's, you gotta look real careful. But if I try and put them together, they do not want to go together. They are pushing apart. And that's the conflict part. Resol um, uh, Reconciliation is, look, when they go together. Do you see that? They snap together. Do you hear that? Yeah. Um, <laughs> and that's the reconciliation part. And so um, if you have some magnets at home, you can try that at home. But today we're going to hear the story of Joseph and his brothers. Um, this comes from Genesis 37, 1 through 6. And um, there's our illustration. I'm reading from our Celebrate um, Wonder Bible Storybook. Jacob got older. He got married and he had 12 sons. One was Joseph, Jacob's favorite son. Jacob gave Joseph a special robe. None of the brothers had a robe like it. It made the brothers angry. Joseph also had special dreams. Joseph um, dreamed dreams made his brothers even angrier. I dreamed that we were bundling grain. Your grain bundles bowed down to my bundles. I also dreamed that the sun, the moon, and the stars bowed down to me. It means that you will all bow down to me, said Joseph. None of his brothers wanted to bow down to him. The brothers went out to the field to herd the sheep. Jacob sent Joseph to check on them. The brothers saw Joseph and came up with a plan to get rid of him. They took his robe and threw him into a pit until some traveling trailers, travelers came by. Some traveling traders came by. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. The brothers sold Joseph to the traders and told their dad he was dead. Oh my goodness, there's so much conflict in that story. Can you imagine if your sibling, maybe your little sister or um, your older brother, told you that you were going to bow down and you had to like, you know, worship them. So like bowing down is like, oh, oh, <laughs> I worship you. Yet yeah, that's probably not going to happen, is it? <laughs> My sister and I, I can't imagine doing that. But that's what jo um, Joseph's dream was telling him. And, um, and he 
um, was believing his dreams, although his brothers were not at all. And he, I bet you can't blame him. I do have the box of wonder. Ooh. What do you think might be in the box of wonder today? Um, I bet you could figure it out if you're thinking about it. I have. Now it's not as beautiful as Joseph's robe, but look, I have a robe um, that we wear here when we're pretending to be disciples. Um, you see? And it is pretty bright and colorful, isn't it? Um, so that is our lesson today. I hope for you and I pray for you that you will have peace in your life and that you will reconcile any conflicts that happen to come up in your way. Let's pray and we'll pray for those things as well. Join me. Oh Lord, thank you. Thank you for this time together. Thank you for the technology that allows us to share your love and your word with all the children that can't make it into church. We are so grateful for this opportunity. Lord, we ask that you be with these children in the week coming and that you give them peace and you show them how to reconcile any disagreements that they might have. Lord, we are so grateful for you and we praise you always. Amen. And all the children said, Amen. Amen. I hope you have an awesome day. There will be plenty of activities posted down below. There will be a Celebrate Wonder video posted down below, and you may join those. If you're on YouTube, I will post the link um, that you can find the video and that you um, can find the activity sheets for today. I hope you have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you in person soon. Be well, take care of yourself, wear your mask. Bye-bye.